that if you are serious, listen, if you're serious about this process, here's what you'll subscribe to. If you're not serious, watch this. I'm not talking to you. If you want an opportunity in this process with there being 1.2 million high school football players in the country, you're not the only offensive lineman. You're not the only offensive tackle. Okay? You're not the only running back. You're not the only linebacker in the country. Okay? The letters, some of you juniors start to get letters and whatnot. Those letters that you receive, all right, they send those to thousands of kids. You take your name off, put his name on, send it out. It's our work. All right? You won't be the only kid looking for an opportunity at the next level. So this process requires that you have commitment, that you're willing to commit to it. I'm telling you right now, if you're not committed, don't get involved with anything because then your parents end up having to spend money and waste money on something you're not committed to. That's why we lead off with commitment. Committing to this process requires that you understand what you're committing to. You gotta understand how process works. For you to be able to commit to it. Alright? Giving up everything. This, this is about committing and sacrificing yourself. You have to want this more than you want sleep. You gotta want this more than you want that pretty girlfriend. You gotta want this more than you want that new Madden football game. You gotta want this and you gotta commit yourself. You, somebody said you gotta want this like you want your next breath of air. So back to that commitment. If you're serious, here's what you want to commit to. You want to commit to understanding how this process. Thousands of kids miss out every year because they assume that they're being recruited. Oh, I got a letter from Notre Dame. They're recruiting me. Notre Dame doesn't really even know who you are. Right? They like to believe this process begins junior year, senior year, when you start to get contacted by college coaches, when you go and register for that eligibility center, okay, when you start to take the ACT, SAT. That is not when the process starts. The process begins the moment you step on a high school campus, period. The moment you put your feet on a high school campus, you're starting to be evaluated. They're evaluating your academics. They're evaluating your character. And also they're evaluating how you play, obviously. So committing to understanding that you have to start early. Freshmen, sophomores, you can never be too early in this process. Juniors, seniors, you can be too late in this process. It's very important that we understand core courses. How you gonna get into school? See, the colleges don't care what you got in the driver's ed. They don't care what grades you got in that. They don't care what you made in home economics. They only care what you do in your core courses. What are core courses? That's your English, math, science, social studies, foreign language. Okay? They only care about those. You're going to need 16 of those in order to compete at the Division I level. 14 to compete at the Division II level. After 2013, you're going to need 16 to compete across the board. Okay? I was just at a high school last week. I had people break their arms out of the socket when I said, do you want to go to Division I school and play? They all put their hands up. I said, well, how many core courses do you need to go to Division I? Not one hand up. How could you want to play D1 ball, but you don't know you need 16 core courses to qualify? You do understand there's a qualification here. They don't want to know if you qualify. They don't care how you can play. They want to know if you qualify to get into school. All right? Who's a good way to judge if you're being recruited or not? If you're a junior right now, April 15th, your phone is not jumping off the hook there's a great chance that you're not being recruited or you're not very high on someone's list. That should be a reality check. See, but if I don't know that they're recruiting and they're calling and they're contacting around certain days, then I wouldn't know that they're not contacting me. So you got to understand now, here's what the NCAA says. The NCAA says that college coaches are now starting to identify 7th and 8th graders. 7th and 8th grade. understand how early this process starts, understand the requirements, Okay, now here's the great thing about it. I hope you understand that you can reach out to college coaches whenever you like. Okay, ninth grade, 10th grade. There are no restrictions on how many times and how often you can reach out to college coaches. If you're gonna commit to it, you better know. Why am I trying to tell you to do that? This recruiting process is not always about what you know, it's about what? Who you know. Building relationships from a, at a young age. Listen, if I was going through the process again, I wouldn't leave anything at the chance. And I would find college code. I would pick up the phone and say, hey, listen, Florida State, I always want to be a seminar. Hang the phone up, pick it up again. 
and you work in Miami. I always want to go to the University of Miami. Close it, pick it up again. Hey, Cincinnati, I always want to be a Bear. Hang it up, pick it up again. No Dame, I always want to be an Irish. That's what you have to do. You have to be built. Don't leave it up to chance. Don't assume because now you're getting a bushel of letters that people around the country, everybody knows who you are. There are 1.2 million of you. Okay, don't leave anything up to chance.